Hey, welcome back everyone. Timothy Little, AK That NES Fan, back here with you today. And I've been receiving a ton of subscribers lately, uh, as well as a lot of comments. I'm going to get into the comments a little bit later. But yeah, a ton of subs lately, very happy. And I just want to take this a chance, this opportunity, to thank you, first of all, for subscribing. And let you guys ask any questions you might have in this video. Uh, in, in the comments section below on this video. So just so that I kind of see where, if you have any questions about a game you want me to review or a game I have reviewed, you know, years in the years ago, uh, go ahead and feel free to ask anything you want or comment or any, on anything you want, and I will for sure address each question in a separate video. I've been asked before by a couple of you guys on here if I would do a live stream, and scheduling right now doesn't really permit me to do that. Because uh, I am on kind of a tight schedule here, so I will not be doing any live streams soon. I, I, I mean, ex except for maybe perhaps um, on Twitch a little bit, because I can just simply do a screen capture. I don't have to sit in front of the camera and keep talking. Um, so I might do that every once in a while. And plus, Twitch, I can actually stream from my smartphone, which makes things a lot easier. So I might do short streams like that. But for the most part, I'm going to be addressing your questions in your when I actually talk to you. I'll, I'll address it in a regular video. So, ask me anything you want, uh, you know, and I will go ahead and address them as best as I can in an upcoming video. Now, I also want to go ahead and refer, actually answer some comments that I received in my recast videos lately. And it looks like, it looks like people who can't get the games running a majority of the time, not all the time, but a majority of the time regarding the recast is that why they can't get the recast running properly is that you don't extract the games properly and that's not an isolated incident that happens a lot because people don't know because most ROMs you download it's just one file and you don't have a whole host of files you know in a folder and uh, that you have to work with that you have to extract properly in order for them to work so that's the case with the Dreamcast you have to extract the Dreamcast files the .cdi files or GDI but usually they're CDI they're compressed uh, files properly in order to get that to work. And you can go back and watch a previous video that I made about that. Now, people have also been reporting BIOS errors. You guys have to rename your BIOS files correctly. Then you won't get that. You won't get those stupid error message screens. And you have to put things in the right place. I, I did a video on it at the beginning of the year. You can go watch that. I also even did a separate video on how to extract those files properly. So, you know, you should go back and watch those videos. If, if necessary, research your processor the processor on your mobile devices and just try to try to figure out why it's not working you know just sit there it takes a little bit of time I mean I dealt mine took a couple hours to get up and running just because I was a total noob at it I never even heard of the recast this was back in December when it was starting to really gain some more notoriety uh, so my you just have to experiment and you have to play around and I've been receiving a lot of people who are disappointed or even angry that they can't get it working right away you know, it's a work, the, the developers themselves, I mean, it's a work in progress, and um, I would not, it's it's by no means a completed project. It's, it's not it's not a universal type of app. It's going to, it's going to be different on different platforms. It's going to be, it's, it will, the performance will differ on different, on uh, different mobile devices. So you don't know. I mean, it runs differently on my phone than it does on my NVIDIA Shield. So you don't know. You don't know until you actually try it out, and that's my point. And that was my point in the video, was that, hey, this is cool, I can get it working on the NVIDIA Shield. I know I said it in the, the title, I said on any Android device, because that's the way it was marketed, but I was just doing it on my Shield to show you guys, because the Shield has a really powerful processor on it. So, again, uh, ask me any questions you want. You're free to do that here. I will for sure answer them, assuming they're not personal attacks on me, in which case they will be deleted. But... Yeah, anything you want to kind of clear up, I can go ahead and address that in a separate video. We'll not be doing live streams. Don't count on that uh, other than maybe occasionally on Twitch, but that's a big maybe. So, yeah, so I just wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit to you guys directly here rather than just keep putting up uploads after or footage after footage after footage. So that'll be all for now, now guys. Thank you, new subs. We appreciate that. I will try to do a, a shout-out to you guys in the next week or so. So I always appreciate new subscribers, and stay tuned. There's more great PlayStation 1 classic footage coming your way. So that'll be all for now, guys. Take care. That NES fan signing off.